Hello folks, Scott here with my Simon Says Stamp June 2017 Blissful Card Kit. I'm sure most of you have seen this. These are the materials supplied. We get the Floral Bliss Stamp Set, uh, Daniel Smith Watercolor Palette, Simon Says Stamp Barely Beige Stamp Pad, and the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Worn Lipstick Stamp Pad. That's nice, two full-size stamp pads in this kit. We get the 6x6 six six pattern papers, 12 two-sided pattern papers of the Echo Park Wedding Bliss pattern papers. We get the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, a piece of his watercolor cardstock, a piece of Simon Says Stamp cotton candy, ivory, and black cardstock, and also a nice little metallic ivory envelope. Now this card kit struck me as rather delicate. Obviously this is very much a wedding card kit. So of course I took the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, cut that into four pieces. I stamped the bouquet stamp on one of them in the barely beige ink. I stamped on one of them with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I stamped on one of the watercolor pads with white embossing and stamped on one of the watercolor sheets with gold embossing. That was how I got started. I was interested to dive into these Daniel Smith watercolors. High-end, very, very nice watercolors. And with the Barely Beige stamp pad, we're definitely looking at no line watercoloring. So my first card is my first attempt at a no line watercoloring. And this is what we come up with for the first, for my first card. This is on the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock that's been cut out with a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die. These are all the Daniel Smith, all colors mixed from the Daniel Smith palette mounted on a piece of pattern paper and of course on the cotton candy cardstock. Congratulations, one of the sentiment from the kit is embossed in black on the top here on a vellum flag. The vellum flag is cut out of a Doris Banner die. A few iridescent sequins. Very nice. I am going to have to practice work on my no line watercoloring because you can see I you know was so anal that I started outlining things myself everything's got a little bit of it's this is very nice I'm very pleased with it I thought this was pretty good for my first no line watercolor congratulations again that sentiment it can be for many more occasions than just weddings. This is card number one, the Daniel Smith watercoloring, no line watercoloring. So my second card, I stamped the stamp in intense black ink on the watercolor paper and took to the Daniel Smith watercolors again. Now this time I worked them very lightly. I worked very, in this one you can see I'm kind of it, it feels a little heavy-handed to me. Although I like what came out, I think I was a little heavy-handed on this one. And I really like this because it's much more muted. It's a little softer in the water coloring. I fussy cut the right edge of the bouquet off of the watercolor paper, mounted it on the pink stripe paper from the pattern paper, Again, this is on the cotton candy cardstock. A few iridescent sequins again. I did stamp the Celebrate in the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide ink. A great stamping ink. Works very well with stamps. Really like this card. Celebrate, again, the sentiment doesn't have to be wedding. It can be for any occasion. Then my third card, I decided to step put the watercolors aside and start working with the pattern paper that comes in the kit. I get a lot of inspiration from what the pattern papers are. And I saw this pattern paper, which is a couple in a car with a big veil flying behind them. 
I really like this. This reminded me of an image I had in my image stock. Uh, I know exactly where I got it too. This is a image from the graphicsfairy.com. Thegraphicsfairy.com. This is, uh, I believe it's called Just Married. I've had this in my image file for a while and the car pattern paper reminded me of that so much. So I opened up this image and did some fussing around with it in Photoshop and made it just a little closer to what the pattern paper was. There you go. Gave her the veil instead of the scarf and put a little uh, just married sign on the back of their card. I put that together in Photoshop and then of course I cut it out on my silhouette. So this is my third card on the black card base. Let the bliss begin embossed in white on just some black cardstock outlined in white. Here's the pattern paper with the cars. I like it. You can see the veil. Some black glitter down the side of the car. I like this a lot. Totally black and white. Black and white card. Let the bliss begin. Inside, of course, it does say forever and always. I think this is a very nice, not normal <laughs> wedding card. <laughs> so then, card number four. I decided to go back and play with the Daniel Smith watercolors some more and started mixing colors and I created a great orange. I thought it was a really, really nice orange. And I used this orange to paint my white embossed stamp on the watercolor paper. So this is white embossing for the stamp. This is all the Daniel Smith watercolors. I really liked that orange. I like the painting on the white embossing. This is really very tiny images. Those, especially once you emboss them, those little petal flowers in the back there are very tiny. Interesting, um, I managed to get a really nice look out of this. Again, some uh, Doris clear sequins. Uh, celebrate embossed in the orange slush stamp pad from the April Wild and Colorful card kit. This is the orange slush, that um, hybrid ink from that card kit. I was looking for some pattern paper and <laughs> from the kit that would go with this and nothing would because it's orange. <laughs> so I put this on the ivory cardstock, used some of the individual flower stamps from the kit to stamp the orange slush in a little bit of a pattern around the edge so that there was some extra color there. This is my fourth card, again with the Daniel Smith watercolors on a white embossed stamp. Celebrate again, not necessarily wedding, any occasion. Okay, card number five. So I said I gold embossed my fourth piece of watercolor paper. I couldn't bring myself to color it. <laughs> I thought the gold embossing was so nice. I curved the congratulations stamp above it just a little bit, embossed that in gold also. Uh, cut out the watercolor paper with a stitched rectangle die, matted that on some coordinations, Tim Holtz Craftcore Metallic Collection paper. This is great uh, gold, silver, and bronze paper. Gold sequins on the top. This, of course, on the black card base. Nothing inside. Congratulations. I really like this. The gold embossing on the white. I know most people would think you would emboss on black, but I really like the look of this on a white textured card. Very nice. Congratulations, my gold embossed card. <laughs> so I'm getting down to my last card base supplied in the kit. So this is the last ivory card base and I was trying to do a total one layer card. So I stamped the stamp with the intense black ink in the two corners. Decided to color those with the worn lipstick 
Distress Oxide ink and just colored the flowers and left the leaves alone. Of course, I then spattered the whole thing with the worn lipstick. Embossed the thank you on, these are both pink papers from the pattern paper pack. I liked this a lot and then realized that it needed something. It was a little plain. So I cut some of the striped paper from the pattern paper and put those along the side. And instead of just running them completely down the side, I cut the edge of the stamp and slid it underneath so that the stamp completes the corners, but you still get a nice border on the two edges with the black and white stripes. I like that a lot. It worked very well. Of course, a plain and simple thank you card, some pink sequins, and this is pretty close to a one layer card, though these are popped up. This is my nice little thank you card. So far, we're staying pretty delicate and, and true to the card kit. <laughs> so it's time to drag in some of my own card stock for card bases. And I'm looking around. I didn't want to use just white or black or ivory. So I found some coordinations. This is Auburn Pearl coordinations from their pearl line really nice cardstock it's got a really nice sheen to it it actually goes quite well with the pattern paper in the set so this is what i used for two card bases this is coordinations auburn pearl i don't think it's available anymore good luck trying to find it i have a habit of buying odd card stocks when they're on sale and then keeping them in my stock. So for my seventh card, this again, I'm uh, looking at the pattern paper in the kit. This is great fun, I really like this card. We have that great pattern paper of the cakes. One big pattern paper. I fussy cut just along the edge of one of the rows of cakes and match that up with the pattern paper of script. This is all wedding script. A uh, happy couple. Our day will be filled with love every day forward. Something borrowed, something blue. Every love story is beautiful. This is very nice cardstock. This is very nice cardstock. I love the cut on the diagonal for this. It kind of feels like its own wedding cake to me. This two are mounted. The cakes are foam taped up off of the text. They're mounted on a really thin black mat and then on that great pearl cardstock. For the cap couple, stamped on white, a little mat of the pearl cardstock, and then a little bitty white heart brad. I know I got these from Oriental Trading Company years and years and years and years ago. I am amazed that they have lasted this long. I, of course, went through and used my Wink of Stella to glitter up all of the cakes. It adds a lot. It didn't need any sequins. In real life, it looks really, really sparkly and fun. This is definitely a wedding card <laughs> for the happy couple. <laughs> Much fun, just pattern papers, no stamps other than the sentiment from the kit. So my eighth card, yes, we get to do at least a shaker card this month. Here's my shaker card. I used the love pattern paper from the kit and found that it went really well with the other scripty pattern paper in the kit. I was kind of sold ultimately on the fact that there is uh, love right there that is of course the exact same love as this. You get wife, you get tuxedo, you get honeymoon, always joy. I really like the way these two pattern papers worked with each other. This is plain and simple, straightforward shaker card, uh, Doris nesting heart die, matted on black for the sides, again mounted on that great coordinations pearl cardstock. Forever and always inside. There's no sentiment out here since it says so much already. Gold and white sequins inside for the shaker parts. This is a fun shaker card, I like it. I didn't want to put too many sequins inside because there's words that I do want you to be able to read inside there. 
but I thought that those two pattern papers together I thought worked really well. This is, of course, a wedding card. <laughs> now we're on to card number nine. I went to plain white card bases for my last two cards. And this is my ninth card. I broke out the individual flower stamps and stamped all of the flowers in a heart shape here in the center of this pattern paper. This gray paper is one of the pattern papers. I stamped those in the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide Ink and did a little bit of painting in them with the Distress Oxide Worn Lipstick, just a little bit. And then I went through and with my Signo Broad gel pen, I outlined everything in white. That made it really pop, it was really nice. Matted that on some of the silver metallic collection, Tim Holtz metallic collection, a little silver on the two sides. This all went very well with that lovely floral pattern paper from the card stock, from the card kit. So I used the floral pattern paper in the back, mounted that all on a white card base. For the happy couple and congratulations, of course, embossed in silver. Really nice. I like the arrangement of flowers that make a heart. I think this is very much fun. For the happy couple, congratulations. Obviously, another wedding card. <laughs> so finally, I'm tired of pink and I'm tired of black and I'm tired of brown and gold. And I haven't made a single pun with this entire <laughs> card kit. So I couldn't resist myself for my last card, which of course is on a white card base. My last card is my fun card. As a little oopsie daisy, I forgot your birthday. <laughs> That's my second belated birthday card now. You would think I miss everybody's birthday. I thought this was fun. These are the little daisy individual stamp from the card kit. I stamped those six times and fussy cut them out and then doubled up two for each of the daisies here. Uh, used a Sharpie to draw three little stems. Very simple. Oopsie Daisy did that on my printer. Inside, of course, I Forgot Your Birthday did that on my printer. I had no yellow sequins anywhere, <laughs> so I colored some clear gems with a yellow Sharpie and used those on this card. I also took, I don't know, yeah, you can see it. I also took the daisy stamp and stamped the white cardstock with the lemon zest stamp pad from the wild and colorful kit that lemon zest hybrid ink worked well on the white paper around this. A couple of pieces of bling, oopsie daisy, there you go. That's as much pun as you can get out of me on this kit. <laughs> I have lots of stuff left over. I love the fact that we got two stamp sets. I have plenty of watercolor still here, tons and tons. This will last me a good long time. I will play with it some more. I will practice my no line watercoloring. I love this stamp set. It's really nice. This bouquet is great. All of the individual flowers are extremely versatile. Nice sentiments. Great stamp set. I, of course, have my envelope left, and I have a good amount of pattern paper left. This is not my favorite pattern paper. Not a lot of... Uh, some of it is extremely wedding-oriented. Some of it is just pink <laughs> and black and white. I... Uh, Obviously, not a lot of color options in the pattern paper stack. Well, that's my card kit for you folks this month. I had a great time with this kit, actually. It did make me giggle. I did have a good time. It did stretch my wings and made me practice some skills that I haven't used before. Thanks for joining me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends, and happy crafting!